and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and everybody on YouTube watching this video later on for some Rakdos aggro. These games have been taken pretty long, so let's try an aggressive deck, see if we can kill our opponents a little faster than what we have been here recently. So yeah, as you see here, we got Rakdos aggro with uh, two main additions with uh, the rogues from Throne of Eldraine. We have Robber of the Rich, this human archer rogue. I just realized it was an archer also. Huh. And then Rankle, Master of Pranks, the fairy rogue. So we got a couple of rogues in there. And of course, the rogue creature type is important with the Robber of the Rich, that trigger there. Um, but yeah, we're just, you know, we're just being aggressive here. You know, we got just good creatures. That's what going red black instead of just mono red we get better creatures because we get knight of the ebon legion dread horde butcher rotting regisaur so we get some creatures that hit harder rankle of course with the haste in the air as well we got uh better removal especially with murderous knight darn i always call this murderous knight murderous writer there we go um and everything here so yeah this this deck looks like it'll be pretty fun you know like we're trying to kind of empty our hand quickly because the less cards we have, the better in hand, the better for Robber of the, the Rich, better for that trigger. It's better for Rotting Registor because we don't have to discard cards. And, of course, with Frenzy, we can we don't really need to have any cards in hand. So even if we are discarding something to Rotting Registor, if we have Frenzy in play, it doesn't really matter there. Um, this is this is Robin Hood. Oh, okay, so that's why it's an archer because it's Robin Hood. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, so yeah, so let's go ahead and give this a try. Let's see how it does. You know, we got a couple Fable passages in here, so we can reset the top of the library uh, with Experimental Frenzy there. Our sideboard, we have some some Planeswalkers for other control decks. Uh, you know, these ones are really for like your Golos decks. Um, of course, a whole bunch of Duress in there as well. I don't I don't love the Remodi Reveler. It's probably my least favorite card in the deck. But I think I want to play them over. I don't really want three more threes or fours, and I don't really like the other one drops. I think I guess I'd rather have this card um, than other one drops. Obviously, the whole discard a card than draw a card isn't really spectacular if you have experimental frenzy in play. But it's not. It's not really that bad. It's not like it's a, a bad thing. It's just kind of whatever. It just it's just a trigger that doesn't do very much. So we'll see. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and play some games. So we're going to play in ranked. We're trying to rank up today. We started in platinum. We're still in platinum right now, five and three on the day. I think we're in platinum one. So I think we need three wins to get to, um, to get to diamond. Now I don't, this is not a bag of holding deck. Bag of holding doesn't make, doesn't work very well. Like with experimental frenzy and stuff. It, no, this is not a bag of holding deck. I don't... Yeah, I'd rather have Remodi Reveler than Order of Midnight. Also. Um, I don't know. I guess Order of Midnight is a flyer. But the, the raised dead part, again, doesn't work well with Frenzy. Doesn't block... could be just steamkin but the thing all right so like I, oh, I remember like talking about this later with this or earlier with this deck but basically the reason why i don't didn't want steamkin or the and like the reason why i picked out remodi reveler is because the reveler is a card that that you don't mind playing later on um And, like, Steamkin is a card you really want to play on turn two, but Robber the Rich and Dreadhorde Butcher are both two drops that you normally want to play on turn two. And so that's why I liked having a two drop that we didn't necessarily need to play on turn two. So this is like a mill deck, a backup Emery. Stormfist Crusader does does not work at all with um, with Experimental Frenzy. 
that's a terrible combination because then your opponent's drawing cards and, and and you're not really drawing cards. How's Dreadhorde Butcher ever supposed to do any damage against all these O2s and 1-2s and things like that? You could just recast Ginger Brute and everything to just be an infinite blocker. I should have just murderous rider the Emery first, I guess. Yeah, I don't really know how I'm going to win this. That Witch's Oven draw. Yeah, Infinite Cauldron. Do I have Spyglass in my sideboard? I don't have Spyglass, do I? This thing's just over. Yeah, Witch's Oven's pretty rough. Alright. Never mind. Love these Ashiok's. Ashiok's perfect. It's like Rotting Registor can block the 7 6 as we saw there, but it can just get also get chump blocked forever depending on what they have. Guess I'm just gonna be like Rakdos control here. I'm just gonna be Rakdos control. Yeah, I could see I could see me supposed to play some duress as well because yeah the, the oven is difficult. Please no oven. Okay. Kinda need coil or 
Legion Zen, something to exile this. Especially Legion Zen. Probably just worth it to kill that thing. Ugh. Well, good thing I at least exiled one cauldron familiar. So I'm going to just discard my Murderous Rider because I'm planning on playing the Frenzy the next turn. So we'll trade card for card there. It doesn't make your creature unblockable. Says it can't be blocked this turn except for by creatures with haste. This has haste. Get that Troll King out of there. I'd really like to play this Ashiok. Uh, before it didn't like whenever I didn't attack with the robber like not that turn but the turn before um, my opponent and I had the same number of cards in hand so the robber of the rich didn't wouldn't have exiled anything so I didn't attack with it so I just held it back to block the I could just you know it gets blocked here I have one card they don't I put um, on Monday, I have like six decks on the YouTube channel that, you know, they're the best of one decks that you can check out as far as decks to play for the win every card event this weekend.
Um, the first two decks that we played didn't do too well, but the other four decks all looked pretty solid. They didn't sacrifice a food to gain three life? Okay. Don't know why they didn't do that, but okay. Yeah, I think they yeah, I think they gave up as well. Yeah, I'm going to I'm probably going to play the Simic Wishes deck tomorrow because I've had a couple of people ask me to to play it. Um one person said that they've been trying it and not having good success with it. It's either get rid of a land or get rid of the wrinkle. I mean, I might as well just keep the castle over a swamp. But yeah, that's that's kind of my my plan right now is to play the Simic Wishes this weekend. As long as it goes well, we'll probably play that one tomorrow to to see. But I think that's my plan also. Yes, yeah, st Stream Decker is not working right now. Not not very well. You have to have the direct link to the deck. Um, on YouTube, uh, it's the Simic Ramp, the last, you know, Simic Ramp. Go to that video. There's a link to the, the Wishes deck in the description of Simic Ramp, the deck we played. The last deck we played. Behold. Got rid of four lands there. All right, so those 22 cards are gone.
Operation Mill Deck. All right, so Creeping Chill doesn't doesn't work if it gets Ashiok over. Hey, Jordy. Okay. Good win. Um, I don't I don't know if Oko will dominate the format. If I mean Oko mirrors are really. Really determined by who has Oko or not, but there's a lot of decks that are just kind of ignoring Oko by not playing creatures, and I, I, I kind of feel like a lot of that's going to happen, and especially like Field of the Dead. I think that's if I had to. It's you know obviously super early to call, but if I had to just choose one card that I think could. Like will or like the card that's the most likely to dominate the format, I'd probably say Field of the Dead right now. But it, that's obviously very early. Could could be wrong for sure. This could be Golgari Adventure here. Nope. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Oko's yeah, Oko's gonna yeah, either way Oko's gonna warp the metagame significantly, but that's that's true of many many rares and mythics. But yes, Oko is incredibly good though in creature matchups and yeah, Oko makes you really incentivizes playing creatures a lot less like it it decentivizes you to play creatures mm. wanted to be able to play rankle here Maybe we should have just played Giant out as a 4-3. Land. So they're down to three. Maybe discarding Frenzy here, of course. Rankle can be lethal. Yay. Okay. What do I want to do against Jund Adventures? I don't really want to play Legion's End. I think we can upgrade Legion's End to Grasp. Probably upgrades Coil as well. Uh, 
I just want to play Martyr's Rider instead of Coil. Um, we still have like shocks for the little things, but now we have Rider and Noxious Grass for like the five fives and everything. No, I haven't. I haven't. Uh, no, I never heard of that yet. So no, I haven't. Um, yeah, I like I like Rankle more than like Spawn of Mayhem. I think Rankle works really. Like as we saw there, like the haste is awesome. But uh, even besides like the haste, the haste is like the real big thing. But even besides that, having both players discard whenever you're playing like Frenzy and Rotting Register, when you're getting rid of your hand anyway, and Robber the Rich, you want to get rid of your hand. But like just having your opponent discard also is quite nice. I think I just go with this. I could play could play some duresses. Ashiok prevent the Bone Crusher Giant ramp. I don't hate that. Sure, we'll try that. Play that over Reveler. I don't, I don't like Reveler too much. I guess Reveler kind of helped this up that last game. Yeah, I'll try two Ashioks. Running out of time there. But does deck, deck stats, does that have the ability to be on the screen? You know, like how Stream Decker, you can pull it up here on the screen. And everything, if you're watching, you can pull up the... The stream decker. Does the deck stats do that as well? Hey Clem, that's awesome. Glad you're wrecking the ladder with Gruel Aggro. Went from bronze one to diamond two in two days. Nice. Happy to hear that, Clem. Good job. Five cards over there. Ugh. Didn't have Ashiok in play in time. This is a, kind of like really awkward. We don't get to do like two things at all. I can't, you know, activate knight plus cast something. I can't double sp spell. If I just play Ashiok, I'm not spell casting anything else. It's just all awkward. Hmm. I kind of want to get Ashiok in play. Well, there was another Beanstalk Giant. Cause you know, like they're they're a little struggling on on lands here, so I since they're struggling on lands, I kind of felt like they had another giant. <laughs> Why do you think I'm playing Ashiok? Oh, passive abilities of planeswalkers. So yeah, they were struggling on lands. They were trying to uh, beanstalk giant it up. And so good thing we had Ashiok. All right, played a little bit faster games here. There we go.
Gone a little faster. Yeah, Ashiok looks to be a good cyborg card. Glad we got three of those. Because, yeah, both of these matchups, they're not even matchups that I really expected to play Ashiok's in. But good cyborg card there. Once upon a time doesn't doesn't get stopped by like once upon a time doesn't do anything. Or like it doesn't search. So Ashiok doesn't stop that card. Is that thing a 3-3? Why is that thing a 4-4? Four, four? Yorvo have Vigilance? Yay, not Vigilance. So if there's anything So like that's seven that's attacking for seven here. So like anything that pumps um, you know, like a, a Vivian or a, a Questing Beast, anything like that would have been lethal. So I went with the Sacrifice, but maybe that's just really wrong going with the Sacrifice, though. I feel like my opponent has Questing Beast or Vivian, like one of those two, and like if they draw the fourth land, I lose. Huh. 
Huh, never mind. Because then, then whenever, like, it took a while to discard Growth Chamber Guardian, then I thought, um... Then I thought, oh, well, then they probably don't have Questing Beast, because it would have just been really easy to discard the Growth Chamber Guardian. So it must have been, must be some other card that isn't very important, but no, it was Beast. All right, so all these Grasps, and Coil, Rider... Couldn't quite dodge one more of them drawing a land. Came close. I guess Dreadhorde Butcher is better than Robber the Rich. I'm honestly not really sure there. Maybe it's not. Yeah, our opponent's wide, wide Darby. Yeah, he's very good. Yep. Stop with the lands, deck. I guess we should keep the Fabled Passage to be able to reset Frenzy if need be. Definitely going discard. I kind of want to do. Kind of want to do sacrifice. Just trade Rankle for Barkite Troll. I'm going to do that. I guess I'm not really saving this Fable Passage for the Frenzy, because we're going to try to Murderous Rider. Mm. Likely Veil of Summer. With going with the questing, or go with going with the 2-2 two -two first, but just playing into it. I mean, I can't, I can't do anything about it. That card's so gross. Please attack. Yay. <laughs> I did not want to discard Frenzy. Keep stop so we can cast Noxious Grass before we draw it. No blocks. Hmm. 
Can you supply me with a drill? Down to nine. Honestly, not quite sure if I'm supposed to play Robber the Rich or just play the writer, honestly. Just too scared of questing beast. Take frenzy. I still have another four, five mana to work with. So yeah, I, I could have waited and, and seen if they just attack in with with everything. Okay, I just wanted the extra lifelinker in there with the murderous rider. Hmm. Wrinkle on the draw. Let's get a couple revelers in there. Chandra. Yeah, Frenzy, yeah, Frenzy with Fable Passage is pretty nice. Even though we didn't really use it at all. That was pretty nice. Yeah, I think Robber is good. I mean, it's, you know, 2-2 two, two Haste. Pretty nice. Yeah, we get extra cards. It's really good. It works well in our deck. Uh, no, I don't. I guess 
I guess the black castle is the castle I've activated the most. So I guess if I'd choose a favorite castle, I guess that would be the one. Mana. No. <laughs> Rut row. They got their experimental frenzy. Not sure why, why, why it makes that attack. You just don't make the attack. I have to, I have to discard. The Registrar and the Questing Beast are always going to trade. Um. <laughs> yeah, this is just like my mono green stompy that we played before. So, yeah. Had all these cards in it. How am I beating this Great Henge? Why can't one of you be Bedevil? Yeah, Bedevil is double black, but at least, you know, Bedevil destroys an artifact. I'd rather be holding that than Ryder. Just had to get that uh, creature out of there while it doesn't have hexproof anymore, but it, that's pretty tough. I liked that game too a lot better. 
So we had like game two is a complete blowout for me. Game three, complete blowout for Wyatt here. And then the game one was that super, super close where I thought thought he had questing beast in hand in the three lands and you know the last turn he's at three has to rip the fourth land and does so that was a really close watch. good game but these are just a couple of blowouts hey what's up schmidt <laughs> ten, 10 mana versus three mana it's rough <clears throat> Thank you so much for that sub there. I will I update mono black control. I I don't know what to do with mono black control. Um, I don't know. May, it's not like on my docket immediately here. I mean, I have the the mono black value. I like that one quite a bit. Um, I don't really see the reason to go control over playing the creatures with you know having no treasure map no. Karn Sion of Urza kind of thing. We found all of our lands. Okay. So you're going to try out Chandra Tribal, and you're going to play Embereth Shieldbreaker for the artifact removal. I like that. No, there, there really isn't a better option in Standard. No, that, that, that is the probably the best one for that deck. So I'm either ditching Legion's End or Shock. I guess I just ditch Shock. Legion's End is probably better. See, mulligan and be on the play. You just don't have any cards left if you mulligan. Makes your robber the rich a lot better. Bleh. Stop. We hit two lands. I need spells. Okay, so Questing Beast is going to hit pretty hard here. Just notice I can open almost any stream decker for any streamer, but is failing for those with a lot of decks. Maybe removing old ones will fix the problem. The problem with removing old decks from stream decker, gosh, they're both trample, is that I have I have links to all the decks for the YouTube video. So if I just delete old decks, then like people if they watch the older YouTube videos, the you know deck list won't be there, and I don't don't want to do that.
I don't I don't want to remove any. How do I stay alive next turn? So I'm down to two. So I can just play. Play Regisaur. And then have to sit back and block. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm not gonna remove them, John. John, yeah, yeah. So I'm not gonna do that. I know I'm still, just like last turn, I'm giving them another turn to kill me with any haste creature. But this is my best play for the long run if they don't kill me this next turn. Instead of just play, you know, I could have played Bone Crusher Giant and Discard Frenzy. Ah, uh, it's game. Yeah, be careful. I was dead to so much stuff. That was the best way to to win the game, though. Yeah, it's playing. Yep, I was playing to win there, not to not lose. I'll try playing keeping butcher and instead of robber. Um, if you should be able to see the deck if you use the exact if you use yeah if you go to the, that page doesn't really work but if you go to the exact link you should be able to see the decks you know so you just have to use the the exact link All right, just got to draw lands. Of course, don't like having three, four drops, but all I have to do is draw two lands. You know, Knight, then Butcher is a really good start. And if we draw one land, start activating Knight, maybe we get to do something there. Yeah. 
Yeah, Kurtash, I put this deck together. Okay, oh, you're talking about Matthew's deck. Okay, yeah. Gotcha. Opponent seems to be lost. It does seem that way. These games are so much faster than what we had the last couple of decks. That the Sultai deck against how we just kept on playing against Field of the Dead, those you know, those two matches in a row were both close to an hour. Blight Beetle does zero against Nissa. It doesn't. Blight Beetle does nothing against Nissa. It does stop Krasis, yes, but they still get to draw all their cards, so it's like not even that spectacular. Hey, Chief See, so yeah, I would like to trade Butcher for Spellbreaker. That's a lot better trade for me. Yeah, Hydroid Krasis is the trigger for that card is just whenever you cast it. So it says whenever you cast this card, then um, yeah, then then you know it has that trigger. So it doesn't matter if the card gets countered or not because it's upon cast, not upon resolution of the spell. So really good call there because now I don't, you know, because of Gruel Spellbreaker, I can't do the damage upstairs during their turn. Tomri's ambush is so good. That ambush is so good. Should have mulliganed my hand, I guess. I had three cards that were pretty uncastable, even though I had, I had a really good one drop and a good two drop, but that's those are the only two cards I cast that whole game. And my, you know, so I was on a mold of four there. My three uncastables. 
Um, so Nissa says that you put the you put the counters on the lands and then you then you turn the lands into creatures. Because if if you turned the land into a creature first, a zero zero, and then put counters on it, it would die immediately as being a zero zero. So you had to put the so you put counters onto a land and then the and then the land turns into a creature. Blight Beetle stops counters from being added to creatures, but Nissa doesn't add counters to creatures, it has counters to lands. So that's why that works like that. So it looks like we're playing against Cavalcade. I guess I I just had lethal there. Yeah, I just had lethal there. I should have. I just played this too fast. If I would just played my land first, if I just shoot them, I was just focus on getting that tor brand out of there. If I just shoot them. Heart fire the robber, shoot them again, the Spitfire was lethal. Alright, so we'll make up for it here. All right, hard fire them. Rankles a rogue, we get to trigger. Trigger like the robber. Get that card back. Okay. Hmm. Um, the Simic Ramp version that I play is an elemental version. So we're playing against a mono red. We got that first one, but our opponent's hand was pretty awful there, that first one. I'm not super thrilled about our chances games two and three. We'll just kind of see. You know, they you know actually have, you know, like a couple one drops cavalcade can be really rough. I think maybe I, maybe I should play all these duresses. Murderous Rider, you know, is a light, like the lifelink part of Murderous Rider I like. I don't love the swift end part. It's still a lifelink. Creature, though.
Yeah, our first matchup was really, really bad with the Yurok food. We played against just Simic Ramp that just went over the top of us. Um, and then we played against two Golos field decks. We won one, lost one. Um, with those, our deck, the second, you know, the, the one that we lost to the Yurok field, or sorry, the, to the Golos field, the match that we lost there, we flooded out really, really bad games two and three, and just horrendously game three. And then added a couple Hydroid Crisis into the deck that weren't there previously, and that helped out quite a bit. So maybe this isn't Cavalcade? Yeah, maybe this is not Cavalcade. But alternatively, maybe it is. Teretsu with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you. I appreciate that. Our 13th sub of the day. Okay, let's see. So basically, I don't need to worry about the Torbran too much because we have the Wrinkle that we can sacrifice, but I guess that, that does mean that I don't really get to play Frenzy. Also, I, I guess I have to play the Wrinkle first. Um, and open up Wrinkle to removal like that. Have to wait till end step to do this because otherwise we would turn on the skewer of the critics. Uh, yeah, burn's probably not good enough in a singleton format for Tor Brand to be a commander. I think it's worth a try, though. I think it's worth a try having Torbrand over there. Like, might as well. I just want to hit land drops. I'm casting the shock early because I just want to hit a land drop. Ugh. There's my land. All right, so we went three and two with Rakdos Aggro. Lost to a couple of uh, aggressive green decks, you know, Gruel Aggro and Mono Green Aggro. So those were our losses. The green decks, you know, put a lot of pressure on us there. Um, one of our losses, we had a game that was kind of a coin flip. 
like that my opponent needed to draw a land for for lethal if they don't draw the land i have lethal kind of thing and so that was a that was a coin flip one so you know like the flip of the coin went the other way we would have been four one instead of three two there so pretty good showing i liked wrinkle uh robber the rich did just fine you know wasn't yeah it was not bad you know we got we got some free cards off robber the rich yeah i liked this card i think this was a, this is definitely a good two drop for our deck um and then of course you know murderous rider was good and frenzy was awesome um yeah experimental frenzy is still a good card this worked out pretty well. I liked having just, you know, Frenzy with a lot of good removal and being able to play, like, into the late game and everything there. Hey, what's up? Duh, Bears. Thank you so much, the Bears, for the Twitch Prime resub there. They've been having a great time with the Mono Black Value deck. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, that that's my favorite deck right now. That one that we had earlier. We, uh... We got pretty unlucky to, to lose, to go 4 1 there. We were 4 0. Opponent, game three, opponent moles to five. It looks good, but then it was just a super aggressive start, and we we died on like turn four or turn five <laughs> after a mole to five. But oh well. Um, yeah, anyway, this, uh, this deck felt pretty good. I, I really liked it with Frenzy here, for sure. Um, not really too much else to say about it. The Ashioks and the Cyborg were clutch. Um, yeah, those those were definitely clutch. I'm not I'm not like so, too sold on like the Chandras. I just kind of want something against uh, Control. Like this little Chandra is really good against Teferi. Um, the big Chandra is just kind of good if you know one extra cards and everything. I feel like maybe the the removal spells could be better overall. You know, better used. I'm not exactly sure how. Um, you know, maybe I should just, you know, maybe the revelers should just be like two more lava coils. Um, if we're going to struggle against like those green decks or, or so, like, you know, I think we'd probably need some more testing here because there are a lot of different uh, removal spells that are options. And there's, a, you know, a lot of different numbers between the main deck, the sideboards of, you know, um, different numbers of removal spells that could be played there. But yeah, if you're if you're watching the video later on YouTube, please hit the like and subscribe buttons over there, and leave some comments. Let me know uh, if you try the deck out, uh, what you think of it. Um, you know what what you kind of think about like with the removal spells. If you struggle with something else, um, or let me know like what you're doing really well against and things like that. But I like I like the you know the the aggressiveness that like you put your opponent on the back foot then you got the frenzies for lots of cards and i liked the ashioks quite a bit in the sideboards uh, i think they're good against a lot of decks right now also but there we go so that's rakdos aggro so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you for the next video